Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use ESP32 board and control the analog output so that we can use the DAC function of ESP Home in Home Assistant. Last video we have used the analog sensor that is for analog input and in this video I will show you the analog output. So usually we will use the analog output for change the dimmer uh, for your light, the dimmer change the brightness as a high or low or your fan speed, the motor speed, and fast and slowly. So that can use the DAC function. We just use this King Kong A4 board, and this board we can use an ESP32 GPIO and the output 0 to 10 voltage. So that can use a different voltage to control this different load for speed or for brightness uh, just according to our driver. So let's look at this uh, A4 PCB board firstly. So you can see it here, that is our PCB board. And the schematic, you can see the ESP32 module, uh, we have two channels of the DAC. The ESP32 only have two channel DAC output. So these two pins. And we have already designed these pins for this DAC output chip. That chip is output for 0 to 10 volt because the ESP32 pin that is from 0 to 3.3 volt. So we need to convert it. And also you can see our PCB board. Uh, we can see the 3D version. And you will see uh, this board, this two channel of DAC. So you will see this board. And then just this terminal, we will test for DAC function. So this is DAC2 channel, okay, this is the PCB hardware. Okay, we can back to home assistant and I will connect with this board for power supply and the USB cable. Okay, this is A4 board. Actually, you can use any ESP32 board, even if you own ESP32 board. Now we can use this DAC function and I can remove this socket because we need to use this one. We can use this one of this channel, uh, DAC, uh, this, this terminal. So you can see, I can connect with my USB cable. Uh, this USB cable have connect my Raspberry Pi server. And this power supply, DC 12 volt. I can connect with it. And also use this 12 power supply. And the red LED, power LED will be on. Okay, this is our PCB board for hardware and the multimeter because we will test the DAC output voltage. And you can see this is our ESP Home config web page and we can find this A4 board. This A4 board we have configured uh, for relay and for output and for input and for analog input uh, by the last video. And now we just add this DAC function. And you can see this ESP Home official website, that ESP32 DAC. It's also very easy. You can see almost define this output and define this light. Because this time we will create a dimmer bar so that I can change the brightness uh, from this dimmer bar and output 0 to 10 volt. So uh, this the light and this is define the output. So I can just copy this code, copy this code, and copy this code to our ESP home. I have already copied it here. So you can see here, I just copy uh, this one. Actually this one first. So you can see, I can copy this for output and paste it here. So that define our uh, output plan for is ESP32 DAC and use this GPL25, uh, which you can confirm. You can see here, that is DAC is 25, defined by yourself. Uh, and also you can check in schematic, uh, which DAC pin you have used. So just, just see it here, not pin 10 and pin 11. That is GPL number, not this pin number. So, okay, we can back to the ESP home. And the second, you just paste uh, this create a light. So you can 
copy this code because I need to save the time so I just copy and paste and paste that here and the plant 4 I just use this one light and you can see the light component in ESP home so you can create this light component and there are many functions and many settings the details at here we just use the easiest one just light and plant form okay back to home assistant and the name we can import a for demo and choose by your name by yourself and this output that is the DAC output because we have created the DAC output this ID is DAC output so this light uh, for which output just import this ID of the output so this is this one and this one okay now you can press this save and press this install and download by the USB cable and click and wait some minutes okay now it's con connect to core assistant successfully and you can click uh, stop and click and go to this dashboard overview and A4 board uh, that you we have created the dashboard you can see now I can turn on this relay at here uh, turn on all relay and off and now this for output and this for input now we can add the dimmer card you can see I can click edit dashboard and add a card and entities because we will have two channels of DAC now I just created the first one so you can at here you can input dimmer and we call this entity ID is A4 dimmer so this one A4 dimmer we have created uh, the second I will let copy and paste to set and click save and you will see this A4 dimmer and click down okay now you can see I can click on and click off and click at here and you will see I can change the progress and change the brightness okay let's test the watch of the ESP32 output so you can see this bar and this one is ground and this is my signal output so I just test these two points you can see at here at here uh, these two points that is almost zero watt a zero point two almost is zero okay you can see now is turn off if I turn on you can see I click this button and turn on 100 percent that is 9.5 almost 10 watt no problem if I turn to 50 percent just half of the brightness and you can see this should 1.6 volt I think this is not you want because this 50% uh, I want almost at 5 volt so that is what I want so that is the brightness just the half of brightness so you can see if I change to 20 that is almost 0 0.3 volt so this is not line so you can see I have created this table I have test every level and every the voltage output uh, you can see uh, from 1% and uh, 50% and until 100% uh, this is the voltage output it's not like a line not like a line so this is not what we want it. we want the value such as 50% I want 5 voltage output so this is a problem if you just only configure by the ESP home and how to solve this issue okay now we can check at this light component and there is a option that for gamma correct so this is very important for correct this value output you can see here the gamma correct the light default is 2.8 so you can see what this means we can click at 
the gamma effect. And you will see the number, the gamma correction. You can see this different photo brightness and this original. So that is should set to 1. Because now the ESP home default is 2.8. So this photo color is not original. So we will need to add these options. So you need to change this value back here because A 2.8 we need to change to 1 so that is original so you can see here in ESB home and click edit this YAML file and at this option you need to add this code gamma correct 1 so I can copy and paste it here Gamma correct is 1. So we can click save and install download to ESP32. And we can use the multimeter to test the value again. What happened? Okay, now we can test it. And back to dashboard and back to A4 board and use this dimmer. And we can use the multimeter test again. And we can see at here. Now it almost uh, the other what and we can change to 100% uh, that is 9.5 almost 10 watt and now I can change to 50% okay you can see that is 4.9 it's almost 5 watt this is the way we want it and I can change to 30% so that uh, 3 watt, okay. I change to 40%, uh, 3.9, almost 4 watt, and I can change to 10%, so you can see 1.2 watt, okay. So this is what we want, that is a line, it's a line, okay. This is the first demo we have created. Now we just copy and paste to create the second demo. If you have many demo, just copy and paste. We can close it and just go to this ESP home and press edit and add here so that you can just copy and paste. You can see the output. We can create the second output at here. And I can change the ID to and this pin number we can see here that is 26 it's another channel so I change to 26 also we can create the second light uh, you can copy and paste it here paste and this A4 dimmer and this name A4 dimmer 2 and this one the ID is DAC2 output DAC2 this one is this one and this not change just uh, gamma and correct is one okay uh, this I have created the second gamma I can just click save and click install download the firmware okay now we can go to this dashboard overview and A4 board and we can click edit dashboard and edit and edit this another second entities you can see A4 DMR2 we can click save save so you can see this is second DMR so this time you can see I can click this one and now I can test uh, this for the another just this point and that is the second you can see I can test for this two pin and you can see 100% uh, almost the 10 volt and the 50% reduced to 50% so that is 4.9 volt and go to this 30% 
So that is three volt, almost three volt. Okay, this is the second channel. So this is how to create the ESP32 DAC to home assistant. Just to make sure you have used the gamma correct settings so that you can output the right value of the dimmer. Okay, thanks for watching.